Hi guys, good morning, how are you? It is Saturday uh, and I've already gone to the gym because I can. Occasionally, Saturday mornings, I get to be the first one that works out first and it's one of my favorite things. So, um, all right, so let's get to it. How am I, at 50 years old, keeping track of my health? Um, I collect data, data, how do you say that word? Um, I think data sounds better, but whatever. <laughs> so one of the things I do pretty consistently, uh, almost every day, is I do get on the scale and I weigh myself. This is just me collecting information. This is me collecting information, how my body responded to the food or junk food I put in it the day before. Um, so I have noticed when I eat junk carbohydrates like chips or sugar, like sugar, sugar, um, <laughs> you know, not fruit, but you know, junk sugar. Cause I do sometimes y'all, I am not perfect. My Lord, I'm so effing human. Ugh. And that's okay. Um, sometimes it takes a couple of days but my body will read a good two to three pounds heavier after I've consumed junk carbs, ultra processed foods, I should call them. Um, and I have noticed since I've turned 49, especially this year, this year, what is this, 2023. Dude, y'all, I have like, I'm holding like five pounds that I don't know where it's come from because my eating patterns and my eating behavior really hasn't changed that much. Yes, I go through periods when I'm tired because when I'm tired, uh, I succumb to my sugar cravings just like everybody else, right? So um, anyway, and that's not, I know that's not all body fat. Okay, I know that, but it, the scale changes for me depending on what I eat. And um, so it's just information for me and it does not ruin my mood. Okay, this is very important. Getting on the scale for me does not ruin my mood because I will be like, oh, just by how I feel or how I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh yeah, today's gonna be a 148 kind of day. Don't know where 142 went, but that's not what the scale's gonna read, okay? <laughs> so it helps keep me mindful of um, <clears throat> not my main meals because a lot of us, underestimate the amount of calories we eat and we overestimate how many calories we use during exercise. And so that balance is off and that can lead to body fat gain, right? So I can honestly say I know my main meals are most of the time, like 90% of the time, good. Uh, and when I mean that, I mean I prioritize protein. I have no problem eating vegetables. Um, I do eat fruit because fruit's good for you. I, I, I don't demonize sugar, healthy sugar. Um, so I'm not in denial about my main meals. I do overconsume junk, okay? It's chips, I'm a chip addict, uh, uh, chip and Chocolate, it's been harder for me to, sugar, it's so hard for me to quit that. I don't know why. Like I quit wine, I quit alcohol, but the whole chips and sugar things it gets really hard for me sometimes and I just allow myself to eat it and then, okay. All right, anyway, so this scale is one thing. Um, I have booked myself a DEXA scan. So what is a DEXA scan? It is a body scan that will tell you your bone mass, your muscle mass, and your fat mass. And at 50 years old, I'm very uh, curious what my bone mass is and what my muscle mass is. Um, fat mass, yo, yeah, I can take care of that. I just gotta quit the chips and the sugar. Like, it's not hard. I just don't really do it <laughs> um, because I'm human. Now listen, if I felt like those things were really getting in the way of my health, <clears throat> I think it'd be much easier for me to quit that junk food, ultra processed, <clears throat> excuse me, ultra processed food altogether. So my DEXA scan, I think is scheduled this Monday. So I'm very curious about that, what uh, that information is gonna tell me. I 
I'll give you a third thing that I do consistently is I, um, I am not diabetic. My A1C stays between 5 and 5.3, so I'm in the optimal range of um, my blood glucose. So I would like to get it back down to 5. I think this last annual exam, it was 5.3 and I was not happy. I was like, Carrie, you know better. Stop with the chips. Walk more. Move more. What are you doing? Um, anyway, uh, so measurements, y'all. We need to take tests. We can't be afraid of numbers because these numbers give us information. Collect information about where you are right now because then from there, when you do the test again, whether it's a DEXA scan, whether it's getting on the scale, whether you, t uh, oh, I didn't finish telling you about that. Test your fasting blood glucose. I do that in the morning. Um, and you want that to read under 85, your doctor will say normal is um, when you test your, and I do the pinprick, y'all. I like stick the finger, I do the little tab like I'm a diabetic. I'm not a diabetic, but I wanna know where my fasting blood glucose, blood glucose is when I start my day. Cause if it is over 85, what did I eat yesterday? And did I not exercise enough, you know? Because when we work our muscles, we are creating like this sponge for the extra sugar to go into. But that's a whole other story and a whole other video. This video is already too long. Collect data. Don't be afraid of it. And then from those beginning numbers, then you make a plan. And you got to retest. Because if you don't retest, you don't know if you made any progress, guys. It's so easy to be in denial. Oh, I eat healthy. Really? Do you? Do you really? Oh, y'all, I have stories. I told you I have 19 years of experience. The fracking denial and the resistance to actual change. If you want change, if you want to be healthier, if you want a healthy brain when you're in your 60s and 70s, because dementia starts early, guys. It starts 20 to 30 years before the first signs of dementia shows up. Just think about that. What you did in your 20s, you know this phrase we all say, oh, you know, when I was younger, I could get away with anything. I could get away with drinking alcohol and not feeling bad. I could get away with eating whatever I wanted and not really put on weight. All of those moments ha determine the health you're in now, right? How you lived your life in your 20s and your 30s, so I'm 50. Everything I did back then has determined where I'm at in my health now. Now, I wish I would have known back in my 20s what I know now. I never would have taken a sip of alcohol. Oh, that's a whole nother post. Okay, I gotta go. This is way too long. So, weigh yourself, okay? Don't be afraid of numbers. I'm very curious about the DEXA scan because then that's gonna give me even more incentive to stay consistent with my gym workouts and lift as heavy as possible, no matter how I feel that day. Gut muscle is so important uh, to build and maintain as we get older. Um, test your fasting blood glucose. And if you're super curious, test it again an hour and a half, two hours after you eat. And if it's gone up more than 25, 30 numbers, like, so say I tested at 85. If I eat a meal and all of a sudden it's like 130, what did I eat? Like it shouldn't go up past 105. Um, you don't wanna trigger your insulin that much. Um, what else did I say? I don't know, DEXA scan, weigh yourself, test your fasting blood glucose. Y'all just be consistent. Create a plan and be consistent. Be consistent, I'm gonna say it again, be consistent. I've said this to people because it's true. The only person you need to be honest with is yourself. You can tell me anything you want. Is it true? You know if it's true or not. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, um, I'll talk at you later.